Hey there, Mort fans. Welcome to May's Monthly Moment. So anyway, we're going to start off with a little bit of an apology. I did say last month that I'm trying to do a little bit more of a schedule, and I said that monthly moments will be coming out on the first Monday of each month, unless, unless there is something happening before that first Monday that I just had to advertise. So this is coming out on the first, which is a Tuesday, and yes, uh, there, there we go. That's it. I'm advertising some that's happening this weekend. I'll get to that later on. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of an apology there. I'm kind of a little bit, um, oh, I'm, in a, I'm in a weirdly good mood today. I haven't written a script as I normally would do, um, you know, or, or some, some point talking points, which I normally would do. I'd have them on my screen now over here, but I haven't done that. I'm just, just, just in a little bit of a winging it mood. I'm going to keep that in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even that normally I'd retake that and and I'd, I'd take take that bleep out. But anyway, uh, what am I on about? So yeah, oh yeah, um, yeah. I'll, I'll get into everything that's happened over the past month because um, it's been quite a, a major major traumatic experience, I suppose. But um, which if you if you if you've uh, followed me on Facebook, then you'll you'll know what happened um, already. And I shouldn't really be. Uh, moving this arm as much as I am because it hurts but never mind uh, let's talk about what happened in the uh, well is that side of the past or is that side of the past uh, let's talk about what happened in the past and we'll move to the future something like that anyway um, right so uh, on the what was it the 7th it was early on early on in, in the month we had the collectibilia. Uh retro events uh, Steve, well Stephen at retro events again was very kind to invite us to get in early uh, get all the footage and really enjoyed it what a great day 75 sellers fantastic day and uh, got a quite a lot of footage as always and uh, uh, this time I actually got a almost equal amount of people uh, that were selling and people that were buying and people also in the queue so I, I, I did quite well I, I evened it out very well retro events were doing a Nintendo Switch Prize draw, and I almost, I almost forgot. Um, don't forget, I almost forgot to say this at the beginning of this segment that uh, there will be a link, which and uh, this and there will be a link here. Uh, well, about now uh, to watch the collectibilia, uh, or there will be one in the description, like everything else. There, yeah, it, it's always getting links in the description. So check that out uh, after watching this. But yes, uh, check out the collectibilia video it's uh, over four parts and it's quite long all together so you might want to spread out the parts over maybe a couple of days something like that unless you just want to binge it and watch it all anyway at the end you will you will uh, find out who won the nintendo switch and also i was doing my own prize draws uh well prize draw um our, our friends at um pixel mart were kind enough to let us have a pair of really cool artwork uh, and they were well, they were the main prize and they were won by Bailey and Aston a uh, couple of couple of kids that were playing the Pokemon tournament and uh, got a picture of them here they've you know got their prize now they look very happy with that prize and uh, I really hope they enjoy it also Jay at Man Martin Designs gave us free t-shirt to uh, to give away as prizes as well uh, we were very appreciative of that because well we more prizes to give away so uh, more, more, more of you guys want some nice cool free stuff uh, and how did you win this all you had to do was talk to me show me what you'd bought and i put you in for the prize draw so there we go maybe maybe next time when if you see me at uh, another event talk to me you may win some prizes who knows but anyway uh, yeah the t-shirt winners uh, we had uh neil I believe <laughs> Neil. Uh, here's a picture of him with his t-shirt, and then we had Gareth. Also, they they won a nice, very nice t-shirt. Uh, here's a picture of Gareth, and also Matt. Haven't been able to get his t-shirt to him, but I finally have their address now. Uh, it's been a bit hard to um, contact them, but we've we've sorted it out, and that is getting sent out uh, today or tomorrow, uh, something like that. So they should get that by by the end of this week. Um, so pretty cool and uh, I'm really pleased uh, that I was able to acquire this stuff uh, basically for the purpose of uh, 
giving it to uh, the, to you guys. Well, you know, the people that come to the shows and talk to me. Other than that, not much else has happened in in April. Um, just been getting the videos out uh, quite regularly. You'll have noticed that I've tried to stick to the schedule. I've had a couple of videos per week. Um, a collaboration video uh, came out a couple of weeks ago that was with um, the Retro Perspective and uh, myself and link to that will be, yep this hand again, uh, will be up here and also in the description. Uh, very funny video, uh, we were reviewing a skateboarding game that came out around about the time as um, Tony Hawk's skateboarding the first one and I th it was called Fresher present skate and destroy so yeah check that out uh quite funny uh some some uh, major highlights and again i'm going to keep that in um saying that though i can't remember when the last bleep happened if i was going to cut all that never mind uh, i'll that that one that that'll get kept in because i'm in the floor now um so <laughs> i'm all over the place this weekend you oh my god um anyway so yes uh I said I was in the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check check out that video. Quite funny and uh, yeah, a nice a, a nice review of, of that game. A, a, a fair review, I'd say. <laughs> so I I think I think other than that though, it was the traumatic experience. Uh, as you know, I ride a I ride a bike to work. Um, anyone on Facebook um, who follows me on Facebook will already know this. I don't put a lot of my personal life on Facebook, and I generally don't say it. Uh, on here um, unless unless it's some big news or if it's a reason why I'm not I'm not doing videos like when I moved house I had to tell you that I was moving house because I had to go to the shop and get some videos and my um, sister's been a, an illness but uh, a couple of days ago um, I, I ran my back to work and I got hit by a car now as you can see I'm not in hospital um, I got hit by a car and I bounced over the bonnet and hit the floor pretty hard um yeah uh <laughs> luckily for me i'm not in hospital i'm breathing i'm walking around um yeah walking is is, is painful and this shoulder is definitely painful which is the one that i've had, I've had problems with anyway for the past couple of years um actually looking at that 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 is i haven't really looked, i haven't really properly looked at that. that that seems a bit yeah that is it's sunken. I don't know. It might be just I'm sitting. Anyway, never mind. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've had problems with the shoulder, and I'll, and I'll, I'll handle it pretty hard. But Whew, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Um, but I got checked out by paramedics. There was no majorly concerning damage, and uh, I, I, I was home around ninety minutes after after the incident. Maybe not even. And uh, I was uh, very surprised. One of the people that was uh, helping me, I was, very, I was very grateful. This is all I did. One of the people that was trying to help me, they they stopped the car, and uh, they they found me on they found me on Facebook and sent me a message. Uh, are you the guy that this happened? So I said, yeah, oh, thanks, thanks a lot for your help, much appreciated. And uh, I was I was I was I was I was genuinely touched that um the 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 the, the this this person that helped out he. Caught, caught my name and you know found me and made sure I was alright and uh, I thought I've got to ask him a question <laughs> got to ask him a question it's like okay what what did what did he see uh, and he and he said to me like I kind of I, I kind of saw it as you hit the car and started flying and you know I, he, he basically he's basically sorry he, he's, he's the only person I've been able to talk to that, that saw, saw what happened and yeah I I I went, he said, yeah, I went with a bit of force. Um, well, I say I hit the car. <laughs> did the car hit me or did I hit the car? I don't know. It just, the car didn't slow down enough for the speed bump. And uh, um, I was, I was, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, my recollection is is not, he's a bit hazy of, 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 of the, uh, the actual event. Um, Think, I think I pushed it out a little bit but anyway uh, and then, then I, I asked the guy did my bike get dragged in the position that it was where I remember seeing it after, you know, after, after, after the crash or was it 
kind of odd did it land there and it was like it's like oh that, that's where it landed that seems far <laughs> that, that, that seems quite far of 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 of, of a, a, a bounce uh, that that must have like gone into the air and you know gone a little bit as well so yeah not not a fun not a fun incident um i've been really grateful to everyone on facebook for all the kind words on facebook uh whew. it's not it's not something i want to repeat again definitely not and uh, wear your helmets if you're biking wear your helmet i've looked at my helmet it is deformed and if i had been wearing that i'd have been pretty much deformed i just wouldn't have been around um not having a motor safe pretty traumatic event and luckily for me luckily for me um i'm still around it's not going to be one of those experiences where I have a new a new lease of life and you know stuff like that. But you know, um, you gotta take what you get. You gotta take what you get now. Now, so um, anyway, what am I going to talk about next? I have no idea. Um, I think I think we'll talk about the future next. I've got a future, so let's talk about the future, not in a mystical kind of way. On the fifth of May, uh, all you Star Wars fans will know. Fourth uh, of May is May the Fourth Be With You Day. Yay, Star Wars Day! So, um, should I have done that? that hurt. Um, so, on the fifth, we are doing a live show. Hopefully, we are doing a live show. I did say I was going to do something for Infinity War, but I decided against those those sets. They do look fantastic, but I wanted to get a Star Wars set for Star Wars Day. Last year, I did a Star Wars set for Star Wars Day. Um, so this year is is not not different. Um, gonna be I, well I, I say collaboration uh, I don't know if we are doing a collaboration because um, Jake at the retro perspective is trying to plan on coming around to maybe play some games uh, like we did last time um, but also Heroic Dale will be coming around uh, I don't think he's bringing his camera he's just coming around for a bit of build a bit of fun but I'll, I'll set up uh, cameras again uh, stream for Facebook and uh, YouTube uh, I'll probably put the same camera in the corner to watch the uh, TV screens uh, for all, uh, for any games that we're playing, which you know that's the plan. We're going to play some games, and uh, well, as always, we'll have the um, we'll have the uh, Lego being built here. I'm not sure what set I'm buying yet. Um, I really want the new Y wing that's come out, but I built a Y wing last year for Star Wars Day, and oh, the snow's to be down. I like the snow's to be down. Yeah, I, my my top Star Wars. Set. You ever want to buy me anything Star Wars in, in Lego? You know, a snow speeder, Y wing, B wing. You know that that's that's the top three. There you go. That that's the top three. Unless unless you're feeling really generous, you can you know, drop me out and hold them. Um, the UCS one, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, pretty pretty cool. Uh, so ho hopefully, yeah, on fifth, um, gonna be some some nice. Star Wars -y day and I've got I believe I've got a Star Wars set in that box down there uh, just a small one and uh, I'll be buying the set on the 4th which means I will be getting a nice free little BB-8 as well so that'll be an extra little set to build up uh, and uh, either the, I believe either the Snow Speeder or the Y-Wing so looking forward to that um, other than that uh, in May we're looking at the 19th of May. Uh, we have been invited by Game Station UK um, to film at the Jug and Barrel. Uh, they are doing an event at the Jug and Barrel. Uh, I believe they are taking their gaming van um, to, to the Jug and Barrel in Stanley. Um, not sure i need to give you much more details than that but that's on the 19th of may it starts at 12 o'clock in the afternoon so midday and it ends at around 11 o'clock i probably won't be there the entire time um so yeah i probably won't be there the entire time i'll just you know a few hours play some games with uh, whoever's there get some filming done ask some questions you know the usual film the event and enjoy myself and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try and enjoy myself with this one. It's gaming, yeah, you know, yeah. Who, who, who cannot enjoy some gaming? Yeah, pretty cool. So hopefully I'll see you there. Well, hopefully I'll see you at the Jug and Barrel on Stanley Road, I believe it is, or it's a bit further up. It's, 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 it's in Stanley in the end. Put yeah, sort of that Bramley, Stanley, Pudsey area. 
just type in Jump and Dal, you'll find it. Um, and hopefully we'll see you guys on uh, Saturday for the for the live build. Well, well, and throughout the day we'll be here as well. Have a bit of fun, play, uh, build some Lego, playing some games. Lots of cool stuff to go. Don't worry about me, Mort fans. This is going to heal up. My leg's going to heal up. I'm walking around. I'm hoping to be back at work. You know, very, very, very soon. And uh, actually, you know, the, I'll tell you now. You know, my boss had to talk me out of going to work on Friday. <laughs> I got hit on Thursday. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll be back in tomorrow. No, no, no. no um, take an extra day off work. You know, you, you, you know, your health comes first. It's like, oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, that, that, that. Oh, okay, oh, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping to be back at work uh, as soon as possible because uh, need to make that money for some uh, more Lego stuff. Uh, and uh, see you guys on the next Mars Monthly Moment. Goodbye.